December was a fairly normal month for real estate in Bristol London Road, but I'm not too sure going forward it's going to be sunshine and rainbows. I'm Darcy Toombs, real estate broker and team leader of Toombs Team Real Estate Group at Coldwell Banker, the Real Estate Center. And here is your January 2024 sold report for Bristol London Road. So let's jump into the numbers. The month of December saw nine sales for the whole community. There was one condo apartment, four detached homes, and four semi-detached homes. Now, of these sales, there was actually only one that sold at or above the asking price, which was a large three-bedroom, two-story condo at 155 Main Street North, which was on the market for a long time, but it was definitely the best price per square foot of all condo sales in 2023. The unit was over 2,000 square feet and had an 830 square foot rooftop terrace, a truly special condo. Now, but you did have to afford the $1,200 a month condo fee. Now, let's have a little bit of a look at the sale prices for the month. The four detached homes that sold ranged in price from $985,000 for a three bed, three bath home on the west end of London Road to $1,250,000 for a beautifully renovated home on Yorkshire Drive, which interestingly, the sellers had only lived in since April 2021. The four semi-detached home sales ranged in price from $650,000 for a fixer-upper on Longford to $820,000 for a renovated bungalow with what appeared to be a non-registered basement apartment. It's not that unusual to see non-registered basement apartments in the area though. I would say probably the majority of the homes with apartments don't have registered apartments, but you know, that's a different story. And fun fact, if you wanna know if a house has a legal basement apartment on it, just look for the house number. There'll be a little black triangle that has a little N on it. That'll give you an idea on if that home has a legal basement apartment or not. Now, interesting points to discuss in the month. Really, to be honest, there wasn't a whole lot to discuss about sales that were reported in the month of December. There were three listings that were terminated from the market, but I fully expect to see those listed again shortly. Especially at the time of this filming, there was only 12 homes for sale in the whole area. Two being condos at 155 Main Street North, both two bed, two bath units. There's six detached homes ranging in price from 888,000 for an older renovated bungalow on Vincent Street to two homes that are each listed for a million 350. One of those is a vacant renovated home on Aaron Trail. And there's another one that's a tenanted home on Cardinal Crescent. This home on Cardinal Crescent, it's been listed for 48 days and still does not have any photos posted of it. Now that surprised me because I know the previous owner was a very talented local designer and she sold it in the spring of 2021 off market and I know that house was a stunner. So what's next? Where will the real estate market go in 2024? I get asked, how's the market all the time? It's a big reason for me in creating our monthly market report is to help spread the word about what is actually happening out there. Now, I don't have a crystal ball, but I do have my ear to the ground listening to a lot of industry experts and regional economists. And well, I'll tell you, the picture isn't overly rosy in the coming months. Interest rates are not projected to fall until around the third quarter of 2024 and will come down a lot slower than they rose. Now I am projecting we'll probably see around a quarter point reduction starting in July and seeing rates likely settle around 4% in around the summer of next year. Now, which is regarded by many in the mortgage business to be considered around the sweet spot. The Bank of Canada has their first interest rate announcement on January 24th, but I'm fully expecting to see them hold the rate for this month. There is an expected $1 trillion in mortgages coming up for renewal in 24 and 25, and the majority of those looking to renew will be faced with significantly larger mortgage rates and payments, and may have a harder time qualifying for their new financing requirements, let alone their future monthly payment. This can't be ignored as the looming mortgage crunch, but with on a positive note, it is believed that only 35% of home owners in Canada actually have mortgages. With many being debt free or holding a home equity line of credit instead, which is a lot more flexible. I predict that prices will continue to fall through the first half of the year, but slowly. 
and settle at a balanced price around July when I expect to see those interest rates start to lower. I do foresee inventory rising quickly through the year though, as many of the homes that were withdrawn from the market in December will be coming back to get the attention of the new flock of buyers gearing up for the spring market. I picture inventory in town getting above 250 by the end of February and cresting around 300 by the end of May. Now this is a level of inventory that we have not seen in town since the summer of 2019, but I would consider it to be a fairly healthy amount of homes that should help balance out the supply and demand curve for where prices will settle. Now I don't say this to scare you, I tell you this to inform you. There are some agents that only want to paint pictures of sunshine and rainbows, but burying your head in the sand is no way to address the current market. Having a solid understanding of what is happening will help you get a better understanding of where you need to be positioned to successfully make a move in this competitive market. If you have any questions about the information provided in this video, don't hesitate to reach out. Either myself or a member of our team would be happy to discuss it with you and what's going on that may affect you. And if you're a homeowner that would like to get an idea on how much your home may be worth in today's market, we would love to have a talk to provide you with a complimentary and honest home evaluation to give you a realistic idea of what your home may be worth so you can get a better handle on how to strategize your next move. Go to tombs.team value for more information. We'll see you next month.